Hi everyone, this is another important video for you guys to understand the ethical issues to consider concerning the research participants that you either interview or involve in focus group discussions or observe uh, during your data collection. There are many ethical issues to consider and in today's video we'll be discussing five of them. The first one is about collecting information because one might ask why should a respondent give any information to a researcher? What right do you as a researcher have to knock on someone's door or to just send out a questionnaire? Is it ethical to disturb an individual even if you ask permission before asking questions? Why should a person give you his or her time? Your request for information may create anxiety or even put pressure on a respondent. Is this ethical? But these questions display a naive attitude. It is an attitude that prevents all progress in the world. Research is required in order to improve conditions, provided any piece of research is likely to help society directly or indirectly. It is acceptable to ask questions if you first obtain the respondent's informed consent. Before you begin collecting information, you must consider the relevance and usefulness of the research you are undertaking and also be able to convince others of this. If you cannot justify the relevance of your research you are conducting, then you are simply wasting the respondent's time. That is unethical. In every discipline, it is considered unethical to collect information without the knowledge of participants and their expressed willingness and informed consent. Seeking informed consent is probably the most common method in medical and social research. Informed consent implies that subjects are made adequately aware of the type of information you want from them, why the information is being sought, what purpose it will be put to, how they are expected to participate in the study and how it will directly or indirectly affect them. It is important that the consent should also be voluntary and without pressure of any kind. Competency is concerned with the legal and mental capacities of participants to give permission. For example, some very old people, those suffering from conditions that exclude them from making informed decisions, people in crisis, people who cannot speak the language in which the research is being carried out, people who are dependent upon you for a service and children are not considered to be in a position to give informed consent. In cases of children not being able to give informed consent, you may ask their legal parents or guardians. Is it unethical to provide incentives to respondents for sharing information with you? Some researchers provide incentives to participate for their participation in a study. Feeling this to be quite proper as participants are giving their time. Others think that the offering of inducement is unethical. What do you think? In my experience, most people do not participate in a study because of incentives, but because they realize the importance of the study. Therefore, giving a small gift after having obtained your information as a token of appreciation is the, uh, uh, you can say, not an unethical practice. However, giving a present before data collection, that I would say is unethical. Information sought can pose an ethical dilemma in research because certain types of information can be regarded as sensitive or confidential by some people. And thus seeking such confidential information will constitute an invasion of privacy. Asking for this information may upset or embarrass a respondent. However, if you do not ask for the information, it may not be possible to pursue your interest in your research area and contribute to the existing body of knowledge. For most people, questions on sexual behavior, drug use and shoplifting are intrusive. Even questions on marital status, income and age may be considered to be an invasion of privacy by some people. In collecting data, you need to be careful about the sensitivity of your respondents. The dilemma you face as a researcher is whether you ask, you should ask sensitive and intrusive questions. In my opinion, it is not unethical to ask such questions provided you clearly and frankly Tell your respondents the type of information you are going to ask. Assure them of the confidentiality of the information and keep the information confidential and give them sufficient time to decide if they want to share the information with you without any major inducement. The possibility of causing harm to participants is also another ethical issue for you to consider. Is the researcher going to harm the participant? Harm includes not only hazardous medical experiments but also any social research that might involve Things like becoming uh, discomfort, simply causing anxiety, harassing them, invading the privacy or even demeaning or dehumanizing the procedure. 
When you collect data from respondents or involved subjects in any experiment, you need to examine carefully whether their involvement is likely to harm them in any way. If it is, you must make sure that the risk is minimal. Minimum risk means that the extent of harm or discomfort in the research is not greater than that ordinarily encountered in daily life. It is unethical if the way you seek information creates any kind of anxiety or harassment. And if you think it may happen, you need to take steps to prevent it. Sharing information about a respondent with others for purposes other than research is also unethical. Sometimes you need to identify your study population to put your findings into context. In such a situation, you need to make sure that at least the information provided by the respondents is kept anonymous. It is unethical to identify an individual respondent and the information provided by him or her. Therefore, you need to ensure that after the information has been collected, its source cannot be identified. In certain types of study, you might need to visit respondents repeatedly, in which case you will have to identify them until the completion of your visit. In such situations, you need to be extra careful that others do not have access to the information. It is unethical to be negligent in not protecting the confidentiality and anonymity of the information gathered from your respondents. If you are doing research for someone else, you need to make sure that confidentiality is maintained by that party as well. Thank you for watching today's video guys. I hope this video is useful for your research studies. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I will see you soon with my next video. Bye for now.